Hello chat boxes out there. I hope you guys have all had a lovely week and that you're having a lovely Friday and a great end to your week. On my Thursday, I got up ready for the day ahead. I had a nice fresh shower, was listening to a bit of Queen, a bit of Adele, a bit of Kylie. I had a good sing song in the shower, nothing like a sing song in the shower, I love a good song to me. I then got changed, head downstairs and had some toast and a cup of tea. Me and my mum and dad would just watch a bit of Hymns and the Hammer and a bit of Bargain Hunt and some other TV shows. I just did a bit of music, did a bit of drawing, uploaded a new TikTok. My brothers were at work. My younger sister is at a uni and older sister is having to isolate as she's positive for COVID, so she's isolated the room. Hopefully she's just like me, where it was just a bit of a cough and body ache. Grampy is in hospital at the moment due to aftermath of COVID, so he's a bit worse for her, bless him but he's on antibiotics and should hopefully be out of hospital soon, which is very good. And I am feeling a bit like one down, my, I just got a bit of a groggy throat and a bit of a runny nose, but it's just sizes and other than that, I'm feeling super duper. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe and keeping positive during these hard times. I did a bit of drawing, a little bit of coming out and coming out on my phone, which has been keeping me so Show it's so therapeutic, I'm loving that. Watch a few TikToks and vlogs and some stuff for recording to watch. And my younger brother got back from work for his lunch break. And for my lunch, I had some chicken soup and then had a cup of warm milk and some biscuits. And then I went off for a walk and got some nice fast nuts and it was just good to be out in the fresh air, getting a bit of and having a nice long walk stretching my legs and I then went off to Coffee Run and got myself a caramel frappe and it was so good sat on the bench and had that and then went off to W H Smith and I got a new book which I'm going to show you guys now got the new Zoella book called One for Sorrow, One for Sorrow The Mad Price Society written by Zoe Seg and Amy Mc College. I think that's how she pronounced her last name, but it's so good. As you can see, I've got a bit of paper in there to put my bookmark in. I've already started reading it and it is so good. My dream is to have books out like this in the future. I would absolutely love it. I'm always writing. There's a really well-known quote I absolutely love, which is, which is, it says, I'm always writing a quote. I'm always writing a story in my head. That's the quote. That's it. I'm always writing a story inside my head, and that is definitely true. Couldn't get out then, couldn't get my words out. And uh, yeah, do you ever get that right? You're trying to say a word or trying to say something and you just can't get out? I get that so much. It's probably talk, it's probably because I talk about 100 miles per minute, probably. That's probably why I just always talk. Don't call me down the chat box for nothing. And yeah, it's such a good book. Started reading that, and I literally couldn't put it down. I started reading it last night. I was like, I need to get to sleep. And I then went off to Tesco's and got some bits and bobs. Love that word. Uh, I got a new Barbie doll. I love her. Love her outfit. Love her earrings. I was tempted to take the top off and give it to one of my favorite dolls, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm wanting it. I've been to put them in the dollhouse, so I'm going to probably have to put her in the box. Where all the extras probably will have to go, or I'll probably replace her with one of the older dolls in the dollhouse and put her in. Loving the shoes, giving me Spice Girls vibes and loving the hoop earrings gonna get some photos of her in a bit and then i went to head off and then saw my older brother who's just on the way back from work and popping into tesco to get stuff for my older sister who's having to isolate at the moment so we then ended up getting home together because he picked me up after he got his stuff and we came home and so i went back in with him because he was getting a few bits of bobs and i got some banana milkshake, best milkshake ever. I absolutely love it. And then got some of these sweet teas. I uh, love them. The teddy bears are probably the best. And me and my best mate both agree, which is, because we are both like in sync, which is awesome and we both have great taste. And I then got back, watched the Aussie Soaps, wrote a bit more of my journal, did a bit of drawing. And then for tea, we had, I had a caponara and the others had sausages and mash and beans. I'm not a big fan of sausages. And then I watched the UK soaps and did a bit of drawing in my new 
sketchbook, which I'm loving, and listen to a bit of music. That's one on TikTok a bit, and then I watched new DIY SOS for children in need, where they built a surf school for people with disabilities, and it's an emotional one. I get emotional at DIY SOS at the best of times, but that one definitely had me literally welling up. It's so beautiful what they do for people, it's just amazing. And it is children in need today. It's now Friday. After watching children, after watching DIY SOS the children in need special, I went to bed and started reading the book and then fell asleep. So I need to, I'm gonna carry on reading that later on. I got up and I set my alarm for about 9.30 and got up about 9.30ish and I got up, had a shower, got changed, had a bottle of cereal. I got some cereal from Tesco's the other night that I haven't had for a long time. It's Kellogg's, like the ones with the stars and the fish and they are just so good. Reminds me of my childhood. And then my colleague and mate of mine who plays rugby with my older sister, who is just so lovely, came over and she gave us some fudge that she'd made, some mint arrow fudge. So put that in the fridge while she went off to park. And then we went for a nice walk and had a nice catch up. Missing work so much, missing the work fam. And can't wait to be back there soon. And we went off to our funny friend whose wife plays rugby with us, husband. And he also plays a bit too. And he runs the coffee shop which is so good and we had some hot chocolates on there. I had a orange chocolate, hot chocolate and it was so delicious. Cream, sprinkles, marshmallows, the works and it was just so good. I'm gonna be showing you guys a photo of that now. It was so good. Afterwards, we had a nice catch up with him and then we made our way off for a little bit more of the walk and went off to this little woodland walk near the new builds by me where they have carved woodland creatures that they've put around so we went around and had a look at those sat on a bench and just had a nice chat and the sun came out which was quite nice and then one of our touch rugby teammates and the ones one of the ones that plays rugby with her and my old sister who my old sister is the captain of was walking their dog and a dog came and jumped up with me because he could smile my dog hard and she's like I'm so sorry about that I was like no it's fine don't worry I get it a lot and she's called Willow and she's such an adorable little puppy so I stroked her gave her a lot of attention and then she walked went off to walk first walking her dog and then me and my mate then headed off and she went off home I got back in and I was having a nice chat with my mum who was just finishing on the phone to my grandma I woke up, she's doing a lot better, which is good. My dad had gone off to bed. The younger brother was just going off to work. And then me and my mum watched a bit of Homes and the Hammer and a bit of Bargain Hunt. And then for my lunch, I had some sausage sandwiches, some barbecue hoops, which are my favorite hula hoops ever. And then I had a cup of warm milk and some biscuits. And I then was just listening to a bit of music and doing some drawing and colouring in and working on the new shots of my book which is going really well and yeah it's been a lovely few days and it's children need tonight donate as much as you can can't wait to watch that then before that we've got an announcement from Mr Boris Johnson hopefully it should be good news fingers crossed I mean it's the 13th of the Friday the 13th so who knows what could happen I'm hoping due to the graph which shows the they're going up there's been a massive drop so hopefully it should be some good news fingers crossed if we do have to stay in lockdown a little bit longer hopefully it won't be for too much longer worst case scenario that will be what it's about but hopefully it might be about easing it due to cases dropping and stuff who knows it's gonna to have to wait and find out and just see what happens from there but hopefully they're positive that we should be out for Christmas, which is good. As long as we're out for Christmas and we get to spend time with our family and stuff, then that should be good. Praying to the Christmas gods that that can happen. We're just gonna have to wait and see. And yeah, I am now off to go watch the Aussie soaps, write a bit more for the journal, 
do a bit more drawing, read a bit more of my book, have a cup of tea and some biscuits, probably do a bit of drawing and probably start doing some more writing myself. I've had a bit of a break from writing, so I'm going to be doing a bit more writing because I've had a bit of what is block, blim and hate what is block, and I've already new TikTok, and I'm so done caring about nights watches or anything like that. Lost a few followers, I'm done caring about following nights watches, anything like that. Social media is just not worth stressing and worrying about or getting upset about. It's out of your control, nothing you can do about it. So you just gotta get on with it, keep calm, carry on, and yeah, I then. Just listen to a bit of music, listen to a bit of share, a bit of Anya, a bit of Kylo. I've got such a large taste of music tastes. I just love a bit of music. Listen, I just love music in general, listen to music. And I was listening to a bit of Joe's Brothers and have been re-watching this series that I started watching called Dash and Lily, which is so adorable. Eight episodes and I binge watched the whole of the series already. It's so good. Definitely go check that out. I'm now off to go watch the Aussie soaps and write a bit more of my journal and just spend the, most of the rest of the day just chilling. I hope you guys have all had a lovely week or have a lovely rest of your Friday and a lovely weekend ahead and I shall see you soon. We vlog coming very soon. Bye.